I invoke you, O son of the wind, God, kindly bestow on me strength, intellect and wisdom, remove my miseries and blemishes. Hanumanji is addressed here by the name Bhavan Kumar. Bhavan, the wind god, is instrumental in carrying Lord Shivji's divine radiance into the womb of Anjani, who is Hanumanji's mother. Here, Hanumanji is also known as the son of the wind god. Hanumanji inherited the following virtues of the wind god. Number one, strength. There are enough examples where Hanumanji has exhibited his might. Number two, protecting life. The air is vital to life. Similarly, Hanumanji has protected following the three lives amongst others. First was Sugriv. He brought about the friendship of Sugriv with Sri Ram. Ram in turn killed Vali to save Sugriv. Number two, Sita. She was desirous of abandoning her life being in separation from Sri Ram. Hanumanji crossed the ocean, reached Ashok Fatika, where Ravan had held Sita captive, gave Sri Ram's ring and assured her of Ram's arrival in Lanka to defeat Ravan. Thus, he saved Sita's life too. Number three, Lakshman. During the war, when Lakshman fell unconscious, Hanumanji brought the life-saving Sajivni herb from the Himalaya in a short span of time, thereby saving Lakshman's life. Number three in that list of Hanumanji's qualities from the wind god is omnipresence. Like the wind god, Sri Hanumanji is also present anywhere, everywhere. He can traverse the whole universe easily and swiftly. Uh, I want to describe to you the Panch Mukhi Hanuman, the five-faced Hanuman. If you go to your handouts, the very last page, you see a picture right at the top of the Panch Mukhi Hanuman, the five-faced Hanuman. Air which supports life is referred to as Pran in the scriptures. Pran is classified into five categories. One of Hanumanji's many forms is known as Panchamukhi Hanuman. It's depicted with five faces. The following, uh, I'll, I'll read out a table. I want you to draw a table with three columns, which shows the categories of Bran, life, its place in the human body, and the symbolic correspondence with Panchamukhi, five face Hanuman's face. So in the first column, the title should be Category of Bran. The second column should be headed by Place in the Human Body. And number three is Hanumanji's face. So in that first column in category of Pran, the first row should say first entry is Pran. The place in the human body is a heart. And Hanumanji's face is the kapi, the ape. Number two, the category of Pran is Apan. And the place in the human body is the anus. And Hanumanji's face, it's the vara, the boar. Number three, the category of Pran is a Vyan. The place in a human body is a whole body. And the Hanumanji's face is a Guru, the ego. Number four, the category of Pran is a Udan. The place in the human body is a throat. And the Hanumanji's face is uh, higher grief, the horse. Number five, the category of Pran is Saman. The place in the human body is a navel. And the Hanumanji's face is Nasi, the lion-headed god. Can the gentleman who just walked in, if you can squeeze to this side of the room, this face is at the front, just so people will be coming in later on. Thank you. Okay, as if to substantiate this concept, Dosuzashi uses the word J, exactly, which is the name of this gentleman here, uh, exactly five times in the Hanuman Chalasa in the following two chapai. Firstly, is the first chapai, Avnita, just here, seat here. Jai Hanuman Agnana Gunasagar Jai Kapishti Ulok Ujagar How many times is that? Twice. And then in Chapai 37 Jai 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 Hanuman Agusaye Krupa Karo Guru Dev Ganaya How many times? Three. How many times is that in total? Five. Okay. So that symbolizes the five Panchamukhi. As said, everyone, uh, mobile phones off. Bal Buddhi Vidya Dehu Mohe Which means kindly bestow on me strength, intellect and wisdom. Bal, number one, strength. Strength is essential for a spiritual seeker. The strength is not just muscle power, but the overall fitness of the body. Mensana in corpora sano is a famous Latin quotation, often translated as a sound mind in a healthy body. The Upanishads also reiterate, Nayana matma balena labbya. The soul is unattained by one who is devoid of strength. Yuva syat sadhu yuva yedak. Ashito Dresho Balista Tasyam Prativa Sarva Vitasya Purnasyat. In the Taitri Upanishad, the Brahma Vali Anuvak ate the mantra, first mantra. A youth should be straightforward, well versed in the scriptures, disciplined, resolute, and strong. For him, this earth is fully laden with abundant wealth. Number two is Buddhi. The intellect, which is intellect, the intellect is known by three characteristics. What is the intellect? Intellect is three things. First, 
the problem-solving capacity. Most people get confused when praised by a challenge. An intellect, intelligent person focuses on the solution of a problem rather than getting entangled in the causes of its occurrence. Number two, adjusting capacity. You must, must have met people who cannot sleep if their, place, if their place or even a pillow is changed. The only thing that is constant in the world is change. People who cannot adapt to this change are condemned to suffer. The intellect gives prowess to adjust oneself according to changing circumstances. Decision-making capacity. Is anyone here a blessed husband who encounters the same question from his wife every morning, which vegetable should I cook today? In spite of her making her the queen of the kitchen, what stops her from taking a simple decision is a bigger secret of married life. Psychologists observe that people shirk from taking a decision because they don't want to own the responsibility of the consequences. An intelligent person is swift in taking a decision and is courageous enough to accept the responsibility of its outcome. Number three, Vidya. Clear thinking based on time-tested wisdom and experience. Vidya daiti vinyam. Vidya gives humility and sa vidya ya vimukteya. Vidya is that which liberates. Hanumanji bestows these virtues on his devotees. Next, Harahu Kalesha Vikar. A devotee prays to Hanumanji to remove his agony and blemishes. Kalesh, which comes from the original Sanskrit word klesh, meaning agonies. According to Yog Darshan by the great saint Patanjali, there are five types of agony. Avidya, Asmita, Raga, Dvesha, Abhineshva, Panchaklesha in the Yog Darshan by Patanjali. Avidya, Asmita, Rag, Dvesh and Abhinesh are the five klesh, blemishes. Klesh, blemishes are the root of human suffering. There are five types. The first is avidya, ignorance, confusion, lack of insight. Hanumanji bestows the devotee with vidya, wisdom and removes the affliction of ignorance. Number two, asmita, egotism, self-centeredness, identification of the pure self with body and worldly possessions. Wisdom brings humility which in turn removes egotism. Number three, rag, desire, attraction. Attraction towards objects and the desire to possess them is due to the ignorance of the pure self. One feels incomplete without external objects and tries to achieve happiness by clinging to them. Hanumanji, being an ocean of gnan, wisdom, creates awareness about the source of happiness which exists in the pure self and not outside. Thus, the craving for external objects ceases and the devotee is free from affliction of rag. Number four, dwesh. Repulsion, revulsion, aversion, disgust, dislike. Dwesh is a belief that outer objects, people or circumstances are responsibility, is responsible for unhappiness. This generates disgust, robbing of one's tranquility. The target of disgust may or may not be disturbed, but the one who suffers from disgust is certainly on the constant turmoil. Hanumanji inspires vairagya, unattachment that transcends the devotee beyond the futile feeling of disgust. Number five, Abhinesh. Stubbornness, obstinacy, anxiety. Some people have a tendency to stick to their opinions. They're not flexible enough to accept diverse views. They are unwilling to admit their own limitations too. Qualities such as humility and open-mindedness derived from Hanumanji drives away this obstinacy. And second, Vikar. Vikar means blemishes of the mind. They are of six types. Namely, calm, lust, growth, anger, lobe, greed, more delusion, mud egotism, and matsar jealousy. With the blessings of Hanumanji, a seeker gets over these mental blemishes and attains equanimity. Let's go to the first chapai of the Hanuman Chalisa. Jai Hanuman Agnan.